At this point, Wangari the storyteller tells us why the hyena has spots like these. Hello my friends, how are you today? It is story time and we are right here at the textbook center. Now, our story today is about a hyena. Do you know a hyena? How does he look like? Uh -huh. Yes, he has four legs. And did you know that his back legs are shorter than his front legs? And that's how, and that's why he walks with a limp. And he also makes a sound. Ow! Ow! Yes. And if you know anything about him, he loves to, he loves to eat. So, today, we find out why the hyena has spots on his body. This is hyena. He likes eating. He eats a lot of food. And you can see him there eating a lot. One day, hyena visited Hare. It was on Saturday. Hare was sitting outside his house. Hare was drinking his tea. You can see hyena riding down and her bathing outside his house having some tea. The tea was very little. Hyena was sad. He asked for some food. Her walked into the house. Hyena was happy. He would get some food. And you can see him over here imagining how much he was going to eat. Her stayed too long. Hyena could not wait. He walked into Hare's house. Hyena found Hare cooking. But the food was not ready. Hyena was sad. Hyena saw a bowl in the house. There was soup in the bowl. Oh. Hyena started drinking the soup. The soup spilled on his clothes. Look at your clothes, Hare said. You can see the soup has spilled all over Hyena. Hyena did not wash his clothes. He waited for Hare's food. He ate the food very fast. <laughs> Later, Hyena tried to wash his body. He used some soap. His body was still dirty. He felt sad. And you can see dart all over his body making spots. Hyena had many spots. He did not like the spots. Other animals came. They had heard about the hyena spots and they wanted to see the hyena. The hyena ran away. He ran out through the window and the animals did not see him. <laughs> And that is why, according to this book, that is why the hyena has so many spots on his body. Well, I hope you enjoyed this particular book. And remember, there are so, so many storybooks at the textbook center. Ask your parents, ask your aunt, ask your uncle, maybe ask your grandfather or grandmother to give you a book as a gift. Well, until next time. Bye.